Yes, both of you can see this, right? Yes or no? Yes, Abhi yes, and Fatima. Yeah, okay. Papa. Yes, sir. Okay. So today's topic will be carboxylic acids. Na? Carboxylic acids. So write the topic carboxylic acid. So in carboxylic acid, there should be any alkyl group which has the COOH group. COOH, or you can also write this as carbon, the double bond oxygen, and a bond with OH. This is the carboxylic acid group. Now, let us write a few names and structures that we will be using. Okay, that we will be using. You should remember at least two. The first one is HCOOH, right? HCOH. So the IUPAC norm, the IUPAC name for this will be methanoic acid. Hope all of you will know the IUPAC name to be methanoic acid. But more importantly, more importantly, you have to remember the you have to remember the common name of methanoic acid, and that is formic acid. That is formic acid. Formic acid. This is more important because in most of the text textbooks and questions, you will be given when formic acid reacts with this particular molecule, then what is the product form, right? And how can you prepare formic acid from something? So you have to know this, that formic acid has the formula HCOOH. And second, at most important one is the CH3 COOH, okay? Now, this is the ethanoic acid, the IUPAC name. And the important common name is acetic acid. Important common name mm. is acetic acid. Now, again, this is also very useful. And acetic acid and formic acid. I mean, no one uses methanoic acid. I, I can say that, that very less books, they will use methanoic acid. And very less books, they will write methanoic acid. Every one of them will use formic acid and acetic acid. Formic acid and acetic acid third one is oxalic acid which is also important now the structure for oxalic acid is <clears throat> structure for oxalic acid is something like you have a particular ch2 group um, there will be three carbon atoms okay and this has a cooh group here this has ch2 and there is a cooh group here okay so in this, you can see that there are three carbon atoms, right? There are three carbon atoms. Now, let me, this is the structure, how you can remember it. But right now I am writing it in some different way. So how should I write this? Uh, I should write this at there is HOOC, which is bonded to CH2 and it is bonded to COOH, right? So there is two carboxylic acid group and there are three carbons. How many carbons are there? There are three carbons, right? So I can say that. Mm. How many carbons are there? There are, oh, wait a second. This is not oxalic acid. This is the next one. Oxalic acid is when you have only two carbon atoms. And both the carbon atoms have carboxylic acid group. So this will be ethanoic acid. Ethane, dioic acid, right? Ethane dioic acid. This will be ethane dioic acid. Common name is oxalic acid. Common name is oxalic acid. Now, the one that I was telling about you about was HOOC with a CH2. And there's again COOH. Is ethane oleic acid? Ethane dioic acid. Dioic, oh. na? Oh. Ethane dioic acid. This is. <clears throat> There are three carbon atoms, so we can write it is propane dioic acid. Or you can also write this uh, common name is malonic acid.
Okay. Now you can uh, start increasing the number of CH2 groups and so if there are two CH2 carbons between the carboxylic acid groups, okay? So this propane will become what? It will become butane. And I'm just writing the common name here. You can just write this. Uh, this will be butane dioic acid. And after malonic acid, you have succinic acid. Now CH3 hold twice, uh, sorry, CH2 hold thrice and COOH, that means between the carboxylic acid groups, we have three carbon atoms. And hence in total, we have we will be having five carbon atoms. So this will be pentane dioic acid and the common name is glutaric acid. Next, if you have four, So in the uh, IUPAC nomenclature, you will have hexane dioic acid and this is known as adipic acid. Yes, so please write this down. You can also write for the five carbon atoms if you want. This will be obtained dioic acid. And the common name for this is pinealic acid. Okay. Now I'm writing a few things. So this is O. M S G A P. So you can remember this as Ohm's cap. Okay, you can remember this as Ohm's cap. So oxalic acid will have zero carbon atoms between the between the carboxylic acid groups. Okay, Ohm's cap. That means it starts with O, O, and it is also very similar to zero. So that has zero carbon atom between the carboxylic acid group. There is no carbon atom. Okay, and then you have M. Then you can start. If you remember this now, O M Ohm's gap. Then O for zero, M for you can start with meth, that means one, so one carbon atom between the carboxylic acid groups, okay? And then you can write Ohm's gap, the whole thing. So oxalic, malonic, succinic, glutaric, adipic, and pimelic. Okay, Ohm's gap. But more important for you guys are these two. Please remember this, you can't afford to, you cannot afford to forget these two. Formic acid and acetic acid. Formic acid and acetic acid. Okay. Now, mm, yeah, in the carboxylic, in the aromatic group also, you have to remember a few. So I hope you will. Spices, know. Pimlic acid. Ha, P I M E L I C. Okay. This is a common name. So this is what? This is benzoic acid, right? Yes or no? Benzoic acid. But let us suppose if I have something like this. Let's suppose I have a CH2 group attached and then there is a COOH. Okay, then there is a COOH. Then this is known as the phenyl acetic acid, right? Because this is the phen group. Phen is the old name of benzene. That is why we call this phenyl. Okay, so this is phenyl. And this are two carbon atoms. So we know that it is acetic acid. So this will be phenyl acetic acid. Okay, phenyl acetic acid. 
and let us suppose if you have a benzene ring in which two adjacent carbon atoms they have the COOH group this is known as the phthalic acid this is known as the phthalic acid okay this is also important people uh, mostly forget this phthalic acid so this is benzene one to dicarboxylic acid if i want to write the if i want to write the iupac nomenclature okay but this is phthalic acid it is generally said as phthalic acid so very common uh, i can say this is very common i mean in nature you can find phthalic acid many places at many places so that is why we use phthalic acid more rather than benzene one to dicarboxylic acid so write these 11 Can you scroll up? Yeah, okay. Fine. I'm just zooming out. Yeah. So these are some common uh, carboxylic acids. Okay. So you have to remember the common names more importantly. Write this down, let me know if you're done. Okay, everyone done? Fatima is done. What about Ahmed? Ahmed, you let me know if you're done, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, Sonia is also done. Done? Okay. The now, that's a fourth one. Yes, sir. Yes. Ahmed, can you take a screenshot? Yes, sir. Hana, you didn't uh, leave some spaces because I think you are quite late. Okay. You can write this down. There's nothing to explain here. And uh, this spaces that I have let now, so this is propane dioic acid. So he, and here we have how many carbon atoms? So one, two, three, four. So this will be butane dioic. This will be pentane dioic. This will be <coughs> hexane dioic. And then this will be heptane dioic acid. Okay. Now, yes. write, with, write the topic that is preparation of carboxylic acid. Right, preparation of so what you will see here now that uh, none of the reactions are new we have already done the preparation of carboxylic acid while we uh, while we were doing the reactions and we will see the chemical properties of alcohols and aldehyde also right first of all is the oxidation of so through oxidation of alcohols. So if you go back to the chapter alcohol and in that you see the reaction of alcohol and the oxidation of alcohol. So we said that if I will 
have any primary alcohol and i will oxidize it with some strong oxidizing agent such as k monoformin in acidic or basic medium with some heat then we are going to get a we are going to get a carboxylic acid okay please write oxidation of primary alcohols forms carboxylic acids carboxylic acid that means if they have r so let me write it like this rather than r o h r c h 2 o h now in this you will add any oxidizing agent then it will be giving you c double bond o o h okay so let us write some examples but please remember that it should be a primary alcohol so the reagents that you can use you have seen right you can use alkaline or alcohol i mean you can use alkaline or acidic both the kmno4 kmno4 and you will get ch3c double bond o and oh further what you can write you can also use what k2cr2o7 and then you are going to get a carboxylic acid if you remember we have cro3 and on both of them in acidic media they will give you <clears throat> they will give you carboxylic acid and uh, so you have let us say the presence of h2so4 then what you are going to get you are going to get again a carboxylic acid okay so these are the examples the cro3 and h2so4 na this combined it is known as jones reagent i think we have written this in yeah i think we have written this when we were doing oxidation of alcohol you can also make benzoic acid in alkaline kmno4 the second step is some water in acidic medium some water in acidic medium and you are going to get benzoic acid okay so from alcohol to carboxylic acid the root is oxidizing agent a strong oxidizing agent and whenever you have strong oxidizing oxidizing agent there will be some alkaline that means a base or you will get some uh, you will add the reagent in the presence of some acid or some base okay and sometimes there is heat involved also so write this down let me know if you are done yes sir all of you done so primary alcohols okay oxidation of primary alcohol right the second method of preparation oxidation of aldehydes this is what two number h3o plus yeah h3o plus acid na no? h3o plus means acid okay sir ana no? oxidation of aldehydes so in oxidation of aldehyde what is what will be happening you will be again getting carboxylic acid right so you can say aldehydes can be converted to carboxylic acids by mild oxidizing agent such as tolens reagent okay so if you have rcho and you use tolens reagent which is used for oxidation what is going to happen you will get r cooh no so you can write some examples
write this done. Let me know if you're done. Write this, okay? Yes, I done. So can you show the above one, the alcohol one once more? Yeah, yeah, sure. More up. More up. No, yeah. Done. Done? Okay. Yeah. Write the third one. <clears throat> Third is from the mm, is pyrolysis of night. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Enough, enough. Here and pyrolysis of night trials and amides. Hydrolysis means we will be adding water. We will be adding water to nitriles and amides. Done, guys. Can I start writing here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So please write with me. <clears throat> Hydrolysis of that means reaction with water. Hydrolysis of nitriles. Hydrolysis of nitriles in acidic or alkaline medium. leads to the formation of leads to the formate formation of amides and on further hydrolysis and on further hydrolysis in presence of Acid or alkali gives carboxylic acids. Gives carboxylic acid. Okay, gives carboxylic acid. That means initially, what we need to do, we have a nitrile. That means RCN. Okay, and H2O. I will react this with H2O in the presence of either H plus or I will have any alkaline that is uh, OH negative. There will be some heat required in this and you will be forming R C double bond O and H2. This is amide. Okay? This is amide. This was nitride. And then again, I will add water. Right? Again, I will add water in the presence of H plus or OH negative, I can use acid or base. And then what I will be replacing this, we'll be replacing this NH2 with OH. And there will be ammonia that will be formed here. Ammonia will be formed. So this is what this is. We have got acid here, carboxylic acid, right? This is carboxylic acid. So if you have nitrile, then also you can convert to carboxylic acid. If you have amide, then also you can directly convert to carboxylic acid. Okay, so we can write some examples here. You know, so first of all, it will be giving me an amide group. Further hydrolysis, it is going to give me a carboxylic acid. No, 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 it's not benzene, I'm sorry. You can also have directly amide, and only in one step you will be getting a carboxylic acid. Okay, so write this down. Let me know if you're done.
So this is a very important method uh, that will be useful in many of the conversions. So we'll do one conversion here. Achha, let me first of all write for the how to prepare <coughs> benzoic acid also. Oh, so you okay, okay, wait, okay. Right, right. Likh lijiye to batai. Okay, sir. All of you done? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So just write one more with me, and then we will do a question on this. Okay, because this is a very important method, if uh, for the preparation of for the preparation of carboxylic acids. So if you have benzonitride. in the presence of acid or base, I am going to get an amide group here, NH2, right? And then on further, H2 in the presence of H plus, I'm going to get a benzoic acid, right? So just write this. Okay, so this is benzonitride. This is benzamide, benzamide, and this is benzoic acid. Benzoic acid. Done? Yes, done? Yes, sir. Okay. Done now, Fatima? Yes, sir. Okay. What was Maryam and Amalia and also Nazara is not here? Did they reply anything, Fatima? Uh, I ring them. They didn't reply. So, how will you bring about? following conversions. So in conversions, it's very important. First of all, let us say you have a simple that is butane, one ole, two, two butane, butanoic acid. Okay, so this is simple. You have what four carbons you have here also you have four carbons right so what you will uh, first of all write the structure ch3 ch2 ch2 one more ch2 and oh right guys so what is the reagent that we'll be using tell me this is what primary alcohol and we want to convert this to carboxylic acid and i'm actually came in a four yeah, so we can use K2CR2O7, any oxidizing agent. Yes or no, guys? Please tell me. Fatima, Sanya, Abir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes na. any oxidizing agent. So you can directly use KMNO4 or K2CR2O7 in the H plus uh, or alkaline medium, H plus or alkaline medium. But see, the case becomes very different if you want to prepare butane, one ole to pentanoic acid. Now, please remember, please remember, you will be getting uh, many examples and many questions in the NCERT in which you are going from 
n plus 1 carbon you have n carbons in the starting material and you want to reach n plus 1 carbon so addition of one carbon so whenever you have addition of one carbon one important reaction is the reaction of alkyl halide with kcn and which is going to give me alkyl cyanide so if you have to add one carbon atom then that reaction is going to be very important so first of all i have to convert this alcohol right this alcohol i will convert this alcohol so let me just write this oh and i will convert this with let us say socl2 right you remember this thionyl chloride yes or no yes sir yes so sir i will be getting first of all chlorine i will be getting there will be sn reaction substitution reaction and i will be getting chlorine here then i can react this chlorine with kcn so whenever you have to add one carbon atom then you always remember you have to prepare from any any target any starting material there should be an alkyl halide between the between this process right between this process because you have to add one carbon atom so now if i add kcn i will be getting a cn molecule here then i can add water in the presence of h plus and what i will be getting i will be getting an amide yes or no and and then further hydrolysis it is going to give me pentanoic acid okay so see there is a slight difference butane to uh, butane one ol to butanoic acid and a one step but butane one ol to pentanoic acid how many steps one step this is second step third step and this is the fourth step okay so please whenever you have addition of one carbon atom you please remember that this reaction is very important which reaction this reaction reaction of alkyl halide with kcn reaction of alkyl halide with kcn okay so write this down this question down sure mm -hmm. can we not okay. directly react the alcohol with kcn to get cyanide i mean nitrile ab bataiye is there any reaction like that oh group is not a good leaving nahi ha nahi nahi actually uh, you can't react directly uh, with kcn Okay. Yes, sir. Clear. Yes, sir. Done. So, in the fourth reaction, it is NH two. That one. H two H two is subject H two. After casein, it is only water. Na, we just did na. Abi, kya ho gaya? Apko? No, sir. This one is H two. This is H two O. After CN. Sir, after CN. CN. Is H plus. The below this one. And this is N H two, ha. Huh? अभी यू टेल मी ना व्हाट विल बी द प्रोडक्ट अभी तो पढ़ाया है हमने यस अबीर यू सी ना सी एंड देन इट इज गेटिंग एनएच टू ओनली ना यस और नो अबीर यस सर यस ओके राइट दिस डाउन लेट मी नो इफ इट ऑन ओके अबीर then Okay. Next is also important, but it is not very important in the context of 
conversions but it, this uh, cyanide one was very important from the context of conversions right next that is from the grignard reagents from grignard reagents is it right with me when grignard reagent is treated with treated with carbon dioxide the okay, carbon dioxide in the form of dry ice okay the form of dry ice so solidified carbon dioxide okay when uh, grignard reagent is treated with carbon dioxide in presence of dry ether in presence of dry ether it forms salts of carboxylic acid form salt of carboxylic acid and on further hydrolysis and on further hydrolysis in presence of mineral acids mineral acids means the acids that will give you h plus mineral acids gives corresponding carboxylic acids gives carboxylic acid okay so please don't try see here now please see here okay so you have carbon dioxide let me make carbon dioxide like this okay plus i will have some r mg br i will have some r mg br or let me write mg x okay any of the hydrogen will be there this is the grignard reagent this is the grignard reagent r mg x now we know that this is delta negative because it is more electronegative than the metal magnesium and this will be delta positive because it has a tendency to give electron this has a tendency to give electron so what is going to happen this r negative is going to attack on the carbon atom like this then this carbon atom is going to is going to break the pi bond with oxygen break the pi bond with oxygen now you can see what is the product that is formed you have r c double bond o and there is a o negative and then there is mgx and this has a positive charge right a negative anion then a cation this is a salt right this is the salt or we also call this as addition product you know you can also call this as the addition product because we are breaking a pi bond uh, between the carbon and oxygen r group is attaching on the carbon atom and the mgx is near the o negative ion due to electrostatic pull okay so this is the product that is carboxylic acid salt salt of carboxylic acid then i will hydrolyze this h2o in the presence of h plus then what is going to happen i am just going to get a oh group here and then in this mgoh here i will have h and oh and we are adding water so you will get r c double bond o and here you will be getting oh right plus mgoh br mg oh br okay so whatever uh, r group ah sorry x mgoh x so whatever r group we are adding that is getting added on the that is getting added on the carboxylic acid okay so r you will get the product the carboxylic acid will have r plus 1 carbon please remember that the resultant carboxylic acid will have r plus 1 carbon atoms okay
So can we write now? Ha ha, you can write, please. Just scroll up. This much is fine? Yes, sir, fine. Ha, okay, Fatima. The water mineral acids. Nah, the anything na an acid that will give you H plus ions. Those are mineral acids. So all the uh, any acid you you may have seen that acid it can be a it can be made from it can be made from the non metals right so whenever you have a non metal and if the acid is made from non metal those are called mineral acid and for example carboxylic acid so that is organic acid that is not a mineral acid so mineral acid it will give you plenty of h plus ions they are very strong acids for example hcl hf hbr hso uh, h2so4 h3po4 hclo4 hno3 these are examples for mineral acids. Let me know if you're done, okay? Then we'll write some examples. Yes, sir. Then all of you? Yes, okay. sir. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Yes, so. If I take CO2 plus CS3 MgBr, then what I'm going to get? So I have how many, this R is how much CS3. So in the result, what I will be getting now, uh, here you will be having dry ether and then dry ether. And in the second step, you will be having H2O in the presence of H plus, right? So these are the reagents that you will be having in first and second step. But if you have Grignard reagent with CO2, you are going to get carboxylic acid with with, <clears throat> with one carbon more than the R group that is attached on the Grignard region. So you will get CS3, CO, OH. Suppose you have CO2 plus. MGPR. Okay. Then again, so this carbon will be there. And here you will write OH. And in this side, you will get a cyclohexane group. Similarly, CO2 plus, let us say you have this benzene ring and it is attached with MgI, magnesium iodide. Then what are you going to get? Again, you are going to get 
you'll just add carboxylic acid on the R group. It's a benzoic acid. Write the name of Grignard reagent. And so this Grignard reagent is methyl, magnesium, bromide. Okay. So this will be uh, cyclohexyl magnesium bromide. This will be phenyl magnesium iodide. So how, how do we write the name? We have R, MG, and X. So R is written as alkyl. MG is written as magnesium halide. Okay, so this is how you write the name. So you have to suggest a name. Write the name of Grignard reagent that can be used for the preparation of For the preparation of, let us say, butanoic acid. And I try to do this question. So you have got the product, you have to tell me the reagent. You have to tell me the reagent, you have got the target material. Yes, correct, Ahmed. What about others? Abir, Fatima, Sanya. Okay, Fatima, you did not understood the question. Fatima, can you please turn the mic on? Yes, sir. Okay, what is the what is the Grignard reagent we are using in this case? What is the name of Grignard reagent? Butin. Huh? In the first case, in the first case, Fatima. I wrote the name, na? I have written the name. Why? Right? Methyl? Magnesium Methyl. bromide. Magnesium bromide. Okay. What about in this case? What will be the name? What is this Thank alkyl you. group telling? No, benzene is not this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Second case. Okay. So how many carbons are attached to the magnesium bromide? Tell me. How many carbons? This is a ring, na? What is this ring? How many carbons? Ring of how many carbons? Yes, Fatima. Ring of how many carbons? Okay, so what is the word for six carbons in chemistry? Please turn the mic on. Achha. Yes, Fatima. Yes, Ahmed, you are correct. Six carbon ke liye benzene hota hai, Fatima. Why are you making my day bad? Benzene, uh, Fatima, can you please turn the mic on? No. 
Yes, Fatima. Are I am okay with the noise. No problem for me. Okay, I can hear you. Yes, sir. Huh. You know the difference between a cyclohexane, right? This is cyclohexane. Please start studying. Now, if you can't see this molecules, how are you going to write the test, Fatima? If you don't know the names, please start studying, guys. At least you should be okay. And this is never called benzene. Okay, benzene is only this. This part is benzene. Okay, this part is benzene. But whenever a benzene is attached anywhere, it is known as phenyl. Phenyl. I've written it so many times. Phenyl. Okay. So this is phenyl magnesium iodide. Got Fatima? So do you understand what is my question? Yes, sir. What is the question? Tell me. What is the Grignard reagent for butanoic acid? Name of the, huh, and how will we prepare that? So you tell me how many carbons will, should be there in that Grignard reagent if I have to prepare butanoic acid? Tell me. Four. Four, Four carbons should be there. Four carbons should be there in the Grignard reagent. Achha. You tell me how many, what is this carboxylic acid, Fatima? Where is your mind? You should know Allah is better. Jane. Tell me, where is it? This has how many carbons? It has two. Two carbon, carbon atoms. Okay. And how many carbon atoms are there in the Grignard reagent? One. Tell me here how many carbon atoms are there? In butanoic acid, there will be two. How many no, will be no, used? Three. three will be used now. So please think and see some patterns that are evolving in the reaction and then answer. Aplokwaya, Abir, and Sanya, write the answer. You've written the question, guys. Na? Write the answer, okay. So please see, this is this is the type of question that you will you, you don't if, if you don't know how to write butanic acid, you are done. You're gone. You cannot attempt the question even if you write, know the reaction. If you don't know how to write the names of reagent, you are done. You can't answer it. So these are small, small things that you have to know in order to write the questions for tough answers for tough questions. Okay. So even you can make, for example, let us say if I have CO2 plus I have something like uh, MGBR like this. So this carbon is going to attack on the, so you will have carbon double bond O and there will be O and this carbon is going to attack. And so where there was MGBR, there was the Grignard region and at that place you will get the carboxylic acid. At that place you are going to get the carboxylic acid. Okay, now one more thing. So in this case I can write, if you want to do a conversion, if you want to do a conversion from let us say two bromo, two bromo propane, two bromo propane, two uh, one two methyl, two methyl ethanoic acid. Okay. So this type of conversions, if you have to do this type of conversion, now in that case, the uh, reaction to bromopropane, yeah. Now, how are you going to do this? Two bromopropane is three carbon atoms, one bromine. You react this with Mg, you will get the Grignard reagent, MgBr. And then you further react with this with CO2 and then some H plus and H2O. Then you are going to get COOH in the place of MGPR. Now this is what, uh, can you see that these, these reactions are very, very easy to convert. But if you see this name here, 2-bromopropane to 2-methyl ethanoic acid, it may seem tough, but if you understand the reactions, it's going to be very easy. Okay, so <clears throat> write this down. Let me know if you're done. And then we'll write one more, that is acyl halide and hydrides. So just addition of water, most of the uh, these, <clears throat> when you have acyl halide or anhydride, both of the cases, you just add water and you're going to get the carboxylic acid.
said did you ever feel like doing the hard questions at first makes it easy to understand the easy ones later on i mean uh, it depends really you can't uh, generalize this it happens sometimes but you can't generalize it sometimes mm. you really have to go from very basic ones yes sir done okay. right next from assign highlights from assign highlights now uh okay i will write here an hydrates also because both of them just uses water so i'm just writing the reactions okay acyl halide that means you will have a c double bond o and a halogen attached to it carbon double bond o there will be x then you add water to it then you add water to it so i know that water has two parts right it has h oh so hx will be formed and this oh will be attached to the carbon atom okay so you just have r c double bond o oh plus hx similarly if you have anhydride if you will have anhydride such as r c double bond o there is oxygen here then again you will have c double bond o and there is some r dash group here in that case in this case also what you are going to do you will have h and oh right so hydrogen will be hydrogen will be attached with this particular oxygen and then one of these carbon atoms will get the oh group so as you can see that you are going to form two carboxylic acids r c double bond o oh plus this carbon atom will get the oh from water like this and you are also going to form a carboxylic acid like this okay so this is from acyl halide and anhydride so you can write some more examples these are these generalized cases with r groups you can write specific examples such as ch3 ch2 c double bond o cl in the presence of water it is going to give me carboxylic acid with the same number of carbon atoms ch3 ch2 c double bond o oh if i even i have the say benzoyl chloride that means a benzene ring which is attached to presence of h2o i am going to get a benzoic acid and I'll keep writing with me uh, yeah tell me the previous reaction you have drawn cyclohexane and the other side uh, sorry sorry yeah. no my bad my bad yeah. and you guys make the product in these two cases
done. You write the product for these two. Let me know if you're done. Yeah, correct. Abir, Fatima, Sanya, are you guys done? Yes, guys, done? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, Fatima, correct. Okay. So I think you will get the correct answer. In both the cases, you will be getting the same product. It's just that you will be getting two molecules of CS3, CH2, COH here. And here also you'll be getting two molecules of CS3, CH2, COH. Okay. Right. Next. Hydrolysis of Easters. What is the sixth now? Actually, the sixth. Hydrolysis of esters. <clears throat> Acetic hydrolysis. Hydrolysis means reaction with water. Acetic hydrolysis. That means in the presence of acid. Acetic hydrolysis. Of Easter's directly give directly gives carboxylic acid and alcohol. Now it is important to see the reaction. How does it happen? Easter R C double bond O. Here you have O and here you have R group attached. Okay, here you have R group. And we are reacting this with water. So in water, what do we have? Hydrogen and OH, hydrogen and OH. So this oxygen will be attacking on the hydrogen and the R group, it will be attacking on this oxygen, right? So OH, so you are going to form, okay, let me write R dash here, R, C double bond O, and then you will get the O and this H is from the, Hydrogen. Okay, this H is from the hydrogen of water. This H is the hydrogen of water plus you will get R dash OH. You will get R dash OH. Okay, this is when you have acidic hydrolysis in the presence of H plus. But if you have alkaline hydrolysis or basic hydrolysis, basic medium, please write basic hydrolysis. Basic hydrolysis gives now when it is base this h plus will be abstracted and you will get coo negative okay so in base hydrolysis gives carboxylate ion will give you carboxylate ion which can be which can be converted to carboxylic acid on acidification. That means you have to add acid. Okay, nothing else. You have to add acid. So you will have R C O double bond O O R dash is going to give you in the presence of OH negative. That means in basic medium and a KOH and AOH these type of things. You will get R C double bond O and there will be O negative. There will be O negative, and if you use NaOH, there will be any positive ion which will be near the O negative. So that will, that means you are getting a salt, and plus you are going to get R dash OH no matter what. That means you are going to get alcohol. Then this carboxyl ion, if you add H plus, you will get COO. And there will be OH carboxylic acid. Okay. 
So write this down. Let me know if you're done. Yes, sir. All of you? No, oh, sir. Done. So write the last one from alkyl benzenes. Okay. Now in alkyl benzenes, please write. Right. On vigorous. oxidation of alkyl benzene irrespective of the alkyl group doesn't matter which alkyl group is present okay if you should have alkyl benzene irrespective of the irrespective of the alkyl group in vigorous oxidation of alkyl benzene Irrespective of alkyl group, with you can use chromic acid or acidic or alkaline potassium permanganate. Okay, you can use KMnO4. It chromic acid or KMnO4. On vigorous oxidation of alkyl benzene with chromic acid or uh, acidic alkaline, acidic or alkaline KMnO4 gives benzoic acid. Okay, it will give you benzoic acid. That means a generalized reaction you can write. Doesn't matter which alkyl group is present, the complete chain will be oxidized. If you have R group here, and you are reacting this with KMnO4, ah, okay, in the presence of heat also, there will be some heat. Whenever you have vigorous, that means there is heat involved. Okay, so you'll have KMnO4. Let us see in the presence of KOH and some heat. You are going to get benzoic acid. So you write the products. Sure. So all the it doesn't matter how many alkyl groups are there. All the alkyl groups. Sure. For example, there are, may I tell me? The second one. You should have one more carbon. Right? benzoic acid irrespective of the alkyl group you will get benzoic acid that's what i'm saying yes yes yeah got it yes in this in this case what is going to happen both of these cs3 group they are going to get converted into carboxylic acid okay it really doesn't matter even if you had here you had two carbon atoms. Here you have only one carbon atom. Okay. Then still you are going to get all the alkyl groups. They are going to get converted into, they are going to get converted into COOH. Okay. In the second step, rather there will be H plus or uh, because it was basic medium. No? So you will be using some H plus and water. But you are going to get benzoic acid only, okay? Doesn't matter what is the chain length.
Okay. Done. You just write one note here. Okay. Just one, write one note here. That there should be at least one hydrogen atom that is present. So if you have any carbon atom which is like this, which is attached to CS3, CS3 and CS3. Right. So tertiary carbons, if you have, and you are using vigorous conditions, for example, you are using KMnO4, H plus, and also heat, then also it will not give any reaction. There will be no reaction. Okay, so this carbon, it should have at least one hydrogen. Otherwise, it will not give you, otherwise it will not give you benzoic acid. Yes, sir. All of you done? Yes or no? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. So, let me give you one reaction. Also, there is alkenes. You can also prepare from alkenes. Okay. So let me give you a question. And in that question, you will understand how to prepare from alkenes. So for example, if you have an alkene like this, then if you have vigorous conditions, same that means KMN, vigorous oxidation, KMnO4, the presence of H plus, and there should be heat. Then what will happen? This bond will break. And as you have prepared what? As you have prepared? aldehyde and ketones. So from this, first of all, you are going to prepare aldehyde and ketones. And because it is a very strong oxidizing agent, it will further oxidize itself to carboxylic acid, right? So it is going to give you O and OH, double bond O and OH. Okay, so here you will add COOH group in this carbon atom and this in this carbon atom. So that means if you have some cyclic alkenes, no? if you have some cyclic alkenes, they can be converted into dicarboxylic acid. So if you have cyclopentene, okay, so what is going to happen if you use oxidizing agents such as KMnO4 in the presence of heat and H+, then this bond is going to break. So you will write the whole thing as it is. Just don't write this bond, okay? Don't write this bond. Here it will be COOH, and here also you will get COOH. Okay, and how many carbons are there? Please count one, two, three. So ohms gap, right? Ohms means zero carbon, one carbon, two carbon, three carbons, right? So what is this? Glutaric acid. Yes or no? So you can directly get what is this? This is cyclo pentene. And uh, from cyclopentene, what are you getting? Glutaric acid. I know. So these things are very important. You have, if they will ask you how to convert cyclopentene to glutaric acid, which I have to first know what is glutaric acid. Okay. Then only you can convert now. So three carbon atoms between the two uh, carboxylic acid groups. Hence it is glutaric acid, Ohm's cap. Please remember this. So yes, sir. done all of you. I know. 
so yes. see i have given you an example of cyclopentene but uh, so there will be always cyclic compounds which are used to prepare the glutaric acid the ohms gap the ohms gap acids okay so if i want to prepare let us say i will write a question give suitable alkenes for the preparation of suitable alkenes for the preparation of malonic acid then after ohms uh, succinic acid glutaric acid we just did so after succinic acid uh, what do we have glutaric acid after glutaric acid what is there it is adipic acid no ohms gap yeah adipic acid and pimelic acid you understood the question all of you tell me yes sir no yes sir acha if i write na glutaric acid also let us let me write glutaric acid so for i will say in answers i will say glutaric as uh, if i will have cyclo pentene it is going to give me glutaric acid right so similarly you have to tell me what do i uh, what kind of alkene do i need to get malonic acid similarly succinic acid yeah succinic acid right so if, please write this question let me know if you are done you can send the answers yeah. in chat also or just let me know if you are done yes ahmed just write in one text na don't send a uh, individual text well yes ahmed correct fatima abir you guys got what i am asking yes fatima abir अरे नहीं आगे भी है ना सक्सेस के बाद एटिपिक है देन यू हैव फ्यूमेलिक एसिड यस फातिमा यू टेल मी व्हाट शुड आई नीड व्हाट डू आई व्हाट काइंड ऑफ एल्कीन डू आई नीड टू गेट मेलोनिक एसिड यस फातिमा अरे व्हाट हैपेंड फातिमा अबीर सानिया से साइक्लो प्रोपीन cyclo propene right so see uh, first of all you have to know what is the structure of malonic acid ha na so let me start with malonic acid it is coh ch2 
COH. That means three carbon atoms, and hence you need a cyclopropene. If you have HOO, C, CH2, CH2, COH, this is how many carbons? Four carbon atoms, right? And hence you will be needing cyclobutene. Similarly, we made for glutaric acid. I'm not going to make glutaric acid once more. And what is after glutaric? Adipic acid. So adipic acid has HOOC. And how many carbons do we have here? Four carbons, right? In adipic acid. Ohms, GA, yeah. So in this case, we will be having a cyclohexene, a cyclohexene. Further, if I want to make HOOC, CH2 whole 5, COH, then I'm going to have cycloheptane. Okay, something like this. And in all of them, I am going to use KMnO4, some H plus and heat. No, you can also use K2Cr207 or something. H plus and heat, okay. So write this down, let me know if you're done. Yes, done guys. So can you scroll up for a while? Yeah, yeah. I mean question. Which question? Yes, yes, you're done. Done, okay, what about Fatima, Sanya, done? Yes, sir, done. Okay, thanks. Let me stop sharing my screen.